Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, as the title says, uh, we'll be talking about loops in Terraform. And I'll be going over three different kinds of loops. Well, the first one is count, the second one is for each, which is like the most popular loop. And you'll probably be using that the most when you're working with Terraform. And the last one would be the for loop, simple for loop. Uh, not mostly used, but I'll show you how, how you can use that, right? So yeah, let's get started. Uh, so I am in my Terraform directory and I think from the last video we have created modules like and right I show you I mean the VPC module I believe let me just see what is there modules yeah so we created a VPC module right so we won't be using this so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a new main.tf file right and then we'll write the provider definition so provider would be AWS and for us region would be US East one and that's pretty much it that's my provider definition and now I'm going to first demonstrate the use of count right how you can use count so it's not a loop but it's it's very close so yeah so resource aws uh, instance right we call it web and ec2 instances required there are a couple of uh, required fields the first one is instance underscore type so we'll just keep it to t2 dot micro right and the second one is ami so for ami i've actually went into my aws console and got one of the available amis for amazon linux just copy the ami id and put it here or you can dynamically get the AMI ID using data. Uh, if you want, I can do a video on that as well. Just comment below, right? <clears throat> Moving on, and the last thing we want is count. So now by specifying count, I want Terraform to create three of such instances uh, with type T2 micro and AMI, which uh, of Linux, Amazon Linux, right? And we also need to give a subnet ID because we'll be creating it in a default VPC. So subnet underscore ID would be, so again, I've copied, I only had one subnet in my default VPC and I, don't, I didn't have any other VPC. So I'll just be using this subnet. Uh, you can again get subnet IDs dynamically using data. And I, again, I'm telling you, I can do a video on data specifically, right? And let's do, some tagging and in tags so when you're using count you are actually also have access to the indexes right so by indexes I mean so if I want to put a tag of name equals an instance right and hyphen and now I want the instance number so what I can do is count dot index right but count dot index will give me index from zero because indexes start from zero so zero one two would be the indexes so I'll just add one to it so I'll get one two three right if you if you get what I'm trying to say and close the tags close the resource definition all right so this looks good let me just save this. Let me do a Terraform init. Clear the screen. Let's do a Terraform plan. So this time I won't be creating the instance. I won't do an apply right now. I will do the apply, but not right now. So you can see it has worked. And if you just go above and look at the tags, you can see this is instance three, right? 
Then you would have uh, the tags instance two, and similarly you'll have instance one, right? So we created three instances with different tags. All right, so that's about uh, count. Now let's move on to for each, which is more interesting, and you'll be probably using for each a lot when you're working with Terraform, right? So for for each, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a variable, right? Variables.tf file. And inside this variables file, I'm actually going to define a variable and I'll call it users, right? I would type would be list of strings and I'll give some default values as well default so first one would be mark Peter Anna right so we'll close this yeah looks good the variable we just go back and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back in my main.tf and let me comment out this block. Right. So we won't be using the instance block. Instead, I'll be creating another resource, which would be uh, AWS underscore I am underscore users. I'm not sure if it's user or users. Uh, we'll figure out and we'll call them as say admins. Right. And now what I'm going to do is for each is equal to var dot users so this is the variable which we've defined right and now name which is uh, required by when you're creating I am user would be what do you think it would be it would be each dot value so you can use for each with only uh, all right, let me not just tell you. So I've made a mistake over here in this code, right? And it will fail, I know. But I'll still do a Terraform plan and show you what, what I mean, where you can use for each. So that would be a good example when, when this thing fails, right? And that would be it, right? So what I'm doing here, I'll just explain what I'm doing. So I'm just doing a simple for each so going over each of the values in the variable users which we have defined right and for the username which i want to create i'm just referring to that value right so that's very simple use of uh, for each so let's save this let me clear the screen and let's do terraform plan And we are waiting. It normally doesn't take this much of time. Interesting. 
So let's just keep pressing enter. And yes, so it has failed, right? So you can see invalid for each argument, for each. So var.users is a list of string with three elements. And then it says the given for each argument is, argument value is unsuitable. The for each argument must be a map or a set of strings. So this is what I wanted to show you. So for each, you can only use with the values which are which are unique, right? So list is not a collection of unique values. You can have repetitive uh, values in a list. That is why it says that you need to use it on a map which has unique keys or a set of strings. So set of string, right? So now let's go in our main.tf file and fix this. And to fix this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Terraform function called to set. So this changes this list of username into set, right? Let me save this, clear the screen and do a Terraform plan again. Again, it's taking time. I'm not sure why Terraform plan never takes this long. Yes, so see, this time it has worked. So it's creating user Peter, Mark, Anna, right? Because we specified that it was a set and not a list. Similar way you can use for each on a map. Uh, I'm not going to do that in this video because I don't actually have a good example in my mind to cover the map. But uh, if I come up with a good example or a good use case for a map, I'll surely do a video for, for each specifically for map, right? All right, so let me clear the screen. So again, I'm not going to do an apply on this, which is going to do a Terraform plan. But in the last example where I'm going to show you the for loop, we are going to actually do an apply because that then we can show what, what exactly for is used for for is used for <laughs> funny but uh, for loop i mean nowadays it's not used a lot mostly you will see for loop in the output uh, uh, column so mostly for outputting a bunch of stuff you'll use for and that's what we are going to do i'm also going to use for for basically outputting uh, arns of my ec2 instance right so that would be a good case Hmm. All right. Okay, so we'll just uncomment the block and we'll I'll get rid of this. So we don't need this, right? So I'll reuse this block where we were creating instances, right? And I'll just add an output block as well. So output and I want say ARNs of all the instances which are going to get created. I want it to output at the end of uh, when the complete apply completes, right? So let's do that. And value would be equal to, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use for, so uh, the syntax for doing for loop is for and you have some something going on here right and then you do the column and then you have the output so that that's how you do it right so for let's say id or for instance right in so this is aws underscore instance dot web right and then we'll give a colon and what I want is instance dot arn that's what we need right as an output let's put this 
save it and let's do terraform apply i'm going to do terraform apply directly we are skipping the terraform plans auto approve and this will take some time right because it's going to create three instances so probably i'll just pause the video once it starts and then come back it's so not now now let me let just start because any which way it's going to show you a plan even if you do a direct apply all right so it has started so i'm going to pause the video and come back when it all my instances are up right all right so i just unpaused it when we were on the verge of getting this plan complete the terraform apply was about to complete so i just unpaused it and you can see two of the instances are done a third would be coming up very very soon right so it took around one and a half minutes not much and it has completed and in the output this is what i actually wanted to show so you can see we are getting the arns of all the three instances which we created and we did it using the for loop right here it is cool so yeah that's pretty much it for this video i hope you like the videos guys uh, please do subscribe to the channel it actually encourages me to bring such stuff more right and yeah that's it thank you for watching